is always the problem with taking a video. <laughs> <laughs> Hello ACB Next Generation family, this is Mo Carpenter and today I have a very special video for you that was recorded, or a video vlog rather, that was recorded by one of our members, Tyann, who had in-home guide dog training this past year, so back in the end of October, beginning of November of 2020. So anyways, I thought I'd give you a little intro and then we'll send us off to Tyann. To those out there watching this, my name is Tyann Wilmeth. I am legally blind and I am in the process of experiencing an in home training with a new guide dog. I have had three guide dogs in the past, so nothing really new as far as having a dog, but Oh boy, in-home training is definitely a different experience. So if I had gone to class, I would have gone on a Sunday and spent the next two and a half days in anticipation doing Juno work and sitting through lectures. And so then I would get my dog in after lunch the 
third day of class. Well, this time the instructor came on a Wednesday and as soon as he got here, he introduced me to my new dog. He is a male black lab. He is about 20, 21 inches tall and his name is Ian. So the first day we did a simple route which was over to the park that's next to me and around the path that the school uses for a track and he did really well and then we got to kn get to know each other and he got used to the house and my two daughters who are seven and four and my husband and we just got to hang out and I think he likes me so the nice thing about in-home training is we don't have to adhere to the strict schedule like at the school so it's kind of like he instantly goes into my schedule so I give him dinner at five o'clock in the evening and I also uh, get to uh, feed him in the morning when I get up um the similarity between class and in home training is the fact that we start our work day at eight o'clock in the morning but today we didn't work for very long this morning we did the simple park route again and then we got to hang out and the, during that time the instructor got to do some research on my area and then after lunch about one o'clock was when he came back and we took a walk to the nearest grocery store called Safeway for those who are not familiar with it and so that involved some sidewalkless it involved crossing a street it involved obstacles and um around here some of the corners have the uh tactile domes with the bump dots that are bright yellow and he had to learn that those mean stop so lots of reworking this afternoon going to the store but then on the way back we reversed the route and he did much better he stopped where he was supposed to and he has already learned where home is because well that's where he gets food and we came back to my house and since covid is happening we are strictly staying outside my house the instructor hasn't come in and so we sat on the porch and we talked and then after we felt like it was a good break we went and did the simple route came back did some more talking and now we're just kind of hanging out relaxing for today i am really liking in home training because my area is not your basic sidewalks street crossings i have sidewalkless i have blended um, curbs that everything looks the same 
to a dog. And so I really, really like the fact that it's tailored to my needs. And I will post another video or record, well, record another video probably tomorrow after we do what we're going to do tomorrow. And I hope you guys enjoy going through my journey with me. Good morning, everybody. We uh, just recently got back from our morning route and he did fantastic. He is a wonderful, wonderful pro at doing sidewalk lists, which is great because most of my area is sidewalk lists. And let's see. Oh, normally at guide dog school, you wake up at six o'clock and you feed at 615. Well, apparently my brain and my body decided that uh, it wanted to get up at the time I would have gotten up at guide dog school, which I would get up earlier so I could take care of myself before get taking care of my dog. And so I've been up since five and let's see. Oh, I brushed him last night and he is so soft. His hair that I get out of the comb is so soft. And good morning. Good morning. And my daughter Lois just came in and she is my seven year old. Say hi, Lois. Hmm? I'm recording a video. Uh -huh. Um, because people want to hear about my in-home guide dog training experience. Okay. Would you like to come say hi? Where can I sit? In my lap. Mm. And what do you think of Ian? He's a soft. Yeah. He has brown eyes. Mm hmm. He's black. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and let's see what else. Let's see, this afternoon. We're going to go to the mall and work on elevators and stairs. So I'll tell you more about that when we get back from that. And I think that is it for now. Lois, can you say bye? Bye. Talk to you later. Good afternoon. We finished our afternoon routes. We first went to the mall and did some indoor work with just going through the main part of the mall. We went through Macy's and we found some elevators. We went outside uh, and did some stairs. We had a little incident on the way out and because one of the doors was open and the door next to it was closed, he uh, accidentally didn't clear enough, but we fixed that and he, he learned quickly that, uh, yeah, we need to clear for both of us and he's very cautious on the stairs. Then we came back and we walked to the store and he did great except for one corner. He did not want to stop at the up curb, which, you know, 
I like to be able to not stay in the street, but I don't want him to run every up curb. So we had to rework that a few times, but then we got it. And on the way back, he was awesome. And I learned that uh, we probably should have relieved him in between coming back from the mall and going to the store because on the way back he signaled and which was better than just stopping and relieving himself on the sidewalk so you know life it happens we deal with it and because it is in home training it is like so not as rigid as in class and because of the pandemic, when we get into the car with the instructor, we have to sit in the back, which he had enough room. And so that was different because like in the flex in class, which was their car, we could sit in the front, but now we don't want COVID. Let's see what else. Now we're just hanging out and we might go play in the backyard and do some recall and just have some fun. I am tired. I think uh, that is all for today. So I will be back tomorrow. Good morning. We just got back from doing our morning route, which we changed it up a little bit and we went to the store. And he did wonderfully. We didn't have to rework anything. He stopped at all the down curbs and up curbs and the only thing was he was a little sniffy but you know he was kind of going a little bit slow and it had rained last night so there was that to deal with and but we got it all worked out and now we're just relaxing for a little bit before we go work on escalators. Last night he just wanted to cuddle and if my bed was not so high because I have a loft bed and his crate is underneath it, if I had had a regular bed I think he probably would want to be in my bed. Well, that's not an option right now. So anyway, that's all for now. Be back later. Good morning. I did not finish up yesterday because I was tired and had other things I needed to do. So yesterday, the second part of the morning, we went to the mall and we worked on escalators, which he does perfectly fine on. And I learned that our local mall has an escalator that is outside. Well, how long has that been there? Well, at least 10 years, apparently. So that was something new that I learned yesterday. Then in the afternoon, we waited till, oh, about three. And we did our loop around the park, which was quite busier than usual. So we had some people distractions. We had some dog distractions. Um, there were kids playing soccer in the field. And he did wonderfully 
you know, distractions are going to happen because, well, hey, he's a dog. And so, but they're, his distractions are totally manageable. So that was a good thing. We played in the backyard. He really likes to play fetch, but only for a little bit. And he, I tried to do the fake throw of the ball, and he totally wasn't falling for it. He was like, yeah, anyway, mom, throw the thing. Don't tease me. And, oh, what else? Daylight savings time or the end of daylight savings time. Anyway, the time changed totally. The two things that don't get affected or they don't understand dogs and children do not understand time change so we ended up waking up well would have been the same time but according to the clock it was early and today is going to be one busy busy day because we are working on max platforms which is our light rail here and then we're going to do a mall route. So elevators, escalators, indoors, all that kind of stuff. Then we're going to go up to one of my best friend's houses because she has a guide dog from the same school. And we're going to do a doubles route. So that'll be fun. We're going to have lunch, hang out let the dogs meet and then this evening when it gets dark we're gonna do our night route so that should be quite interesting as well so I will let you know how everything goes either tonight or tomorrow morning and luckily we're starting at 9 instead of 8 today because I don't know why because we had an extra hour, but probably because things aren't going to be open by the time we're done with Max Platforms. So, understandable. Anyway, talk to you later. Good afternoon. Oh, we've had a busy day. At 9 o'clock, we, uh, we did our light rail platforms, which there were three in particular that I wanted to do because there's different situations at each one of them. And then we went to the mall and we did a couple escalators and oh boy, he was very excited after he got off the first escalator. Um, he's, he's a very happy boy. Then we went up to my friend's house and had some lunch. Did a doubles route that involved sidewalkless and sidewalks and street crossing and all sorts of stuff. And that was about two miles. Then we came home. Now we're just hanging out until about 5.30. Then we're going to go walk around our basic route, which is the loop around the park in the dark. So that should be pretty quick. And, you know, it will be the end of our day, which, oh my goodness, I think I'm going to end up going to bed early because I'm tired. Tomorrow, we are doing traffic checks. Woo! -hoo! The instructor tries to get to run us over. Or, no, it's not that. It's, uh, they get to, uh, show me how he reacts to different traffic situations and car approaches. So, won't be too bad, I don't think. We did have some dog distractions along the way, 
today and he is really good and I can usually correct it quickly so you know it's manageable but he is a dog of course and yeah I think that's it for now I'll probably do a little video later on how it went on the night route Talk to you later. Oh, good afternoon. Last night we did our night route around the park and he did fantastic. No issues there. This morning we did our traffic checks which is basically the instructor is in the car and uh, they pretend to be drivers that don't know what the heck they're doing so the first one he drove straight into us so Ian had to back up and he did that and oh there were times where the car was in front of us and then there were a few other things you know like normal traffic um which is like totally different than in class because well in class uh you have someone driving a vehicle but you also have the instructor with you telling you what's coming up so that was different then we uh, did a walk on the waterfront in front of all the different uh, shops and stuff along the waterfront and uh, he did good we had to deal with dogs we had to deal with the public and you know you have to learn hey if somebody's like oh hi dog you're a good dog and you have to politely say can you please not talk to my dog so yeah then we went to Petco and I got a new squeaky ball for him now we're just hanging out relaxing until 5.30 where we're going to do another night route and oh my goodness I'm so tired. I tried to take a nap but my kids kept bugging me and oh I love my kids. I love having in-home training but at the same time sometimes at school when I went last it was nice to just be able to have my own space and do what I needed to do so one more full day tomorrow and then the last day after that and Oh, we're just about done and Ian's great. Anyway, I think that's all for now. Good afternoon. Oh, I was tired last night, so I didn't get on here and start talking about our wonderful night route that we did last night. Oh, he got a little sniffy at one point and accidentally ran me into a pole, but we fixed that and it wasn't so bad. And let's see, today we got to start at 10 o'clock, woo! -hoo! And we got to go down to the waterfront and we got to uh, work in the rain because it was nice yesterday but it rained today so typical Portland Oregon weather so 
we worked for a little bit and then we put on his booties to see how he did wearing his booties and working, which he did fine after he got used to them. Not, not a surprise, he's pretty laid back. And then we had dinner, or not dinner, <laughs> lunch at the, we had lunch at the Portland Sports Bar and got to uh, just hang out for a little bit before we went and sat on uh, a rock and uh, did our ID picture. Um, then we came back home and uh, did our route to the store, which he did really well and kept me out of the puddles. Woohoo! Yay! Um, then tomorrow is we do our basic route and do some uh, quest ending of class questions and we're done with our in-home training and we did fantastic and so yeah now I have a guide dog and that's it for right now talk to you later Good morning. We already uh, did our small short route for this morning and we did some interview questions and the trainer is flying out back home today. So we are officially a graduated guide dog team. Woohoo! So I'm excited and I am glad that I could share my experience with everybody that watches these videos and now I'm tired and we did awesome. I do have a video of us working from the park home so that will get posted with all these videos and that's it. So we took a little walk. It's a week of uh, having been, not been working because of snow and he got restless. So we took a walk and he did awesome. And now I'm gonna show you just down our driveway because it, there's still patches of snow. And he is, he has also been very cautious and stopped at different snow mounds and guided me around them. And he is awesome. So here we go. Ian forward. I will be glad when all this is melted and oh, we can go back to normal because this stuff is, it was nice. We got over a foot of snow, like 15 or 16 inches, Alan told me. And so Ian's been kind of restless. We've done other things, but uh, you know, it's just not the same as guide work. Good boy. Uh.
Oh, good boy. I didn't want to go all the way through that puddle. Good boy. Thanks again, Tyann, for that great vlog of your guide dog experience this time around. If you liked this video, we'd appreciate it if you could hit the like button and subscribe. If you would like to learn more about ACB Next Generation, please visit our website at acbnextgeneration.org. You can also find us on several social media platforms as ACB Next Gen.